Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, 24th. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so there are no times, there are no clocks, right, in divine timing, so keep that in mind. And this reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for the 24th? <laughs> Justice reversed. Well, dishonesty. Dishonesty. Somebody's not telling the truth. Come on now. Ooh, resisting change. Somebody is resisting change. Master of non-attachment here. Somebody needs to see something from a new perspective, but they're hanging on to their stance. We have a very stubborn individual here. Maybe being dishonest about their truth. Oh, about who they love, maybe. I don't know. About a relationship. Four of Wands reversed. Wow. Next to the Two of Cups. Yeah, about, yeah, about who they, about a partnership. Somebody's not being honest. Somebody's not telling the truth. But they're hanging on anyway. Lack of integrity. <laughs> Lack of being happy as well. We got somebody that's in an unhappy union, but they're hanging on. False, false, false relationship. Knight of Cups reversed. Definitely, definitely. We got somebody here that they're probably pretending they're in love, but they're not. That's a sad situation. Um, unhappily married or unhappily committed. No relationship growth. There could be a breakup on the horizon. There could be a split. Okay, this could be a divorce. This is a split. I don't want to be in this commitment anymore. There ain't no more love. I don't want to be attached. Like I said, the master of non-attachment. That's what the hangman is. I don't want this anymore. I don't want this commitment. I don't want this union. There is no love. This is a divorce. Or a split. There's no integrity in it. There's no truth in it. Or somebody could be holding on to the lie, right? Three of Cups could be a third party situation, you know? Queen of Pentacles, wonderful. I thought it was great. Three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, there's no togetherness. There's no working together here. There's no real partnership. It's like there's there's disrespect. There's, you know... No teamwork. King of Wands reversed. Lack of nobility. Somebody has lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. Their energy has took a nosedive. The Emperor made his decision. This isn't love. There's no relationship growth here. The emperor makes a decision and sticks to it. I'm taking the lead. I'm going to be the boss. I am the boss. Listen up here. Listen up. There's no movement. There's no relationship growth. There's no teamwork. There's no working together. This guy sees a better, solid opportunity. He sees it. It may be little, little ways away, but he sees it. He can see it's in sight. He also sees that something has taken a nosedive. There's no energy. There's no ambition. There's no drive. Things have been out of control. Things have been chaotic. There's, there's no fixing this. Somebody's lazy. He sees, this guy sees that, you know, he just wants to be happy. 
This guy is making a decision. What, he's making a decision that... He's somebody may, may be dealing with a self-centered, uh, conceited individual <laughs> who doesn't put in any effort at all. And he see, and then we got this other one who sees that there's a golden opportunity here. I mean, this woman's got the golden opportunity in her hands. She's stable. She's solid. She's secure. She's a hard worker. She's loyal. She does it all. She she she. She she does it all. She cooks. She cleans. She goes to work. She comes home. She does it again. Moving on. Somebody is moving on. I'm going to a better place. This ain't it. Somebody is transitioning. I'm leaving the trouble behind. That's where he's, he's, he's decided that it's time to move on from this false partnership. There's no more commitment here. There's no more, there's like, there's no more love here. I'm moving forward. There's definitely been a loss of energy, loss of concentration, no more teamwork. It's like we don't work together at all anymore. I might as well go. Uh, somebody has no more energy. Like I said, I've been saying energy is like it's, there's been a dip. Ill health, poor health. It's like their health has declined. I have no more strength and confidence in this union. And he sees that there's that it's it's time to follow his heart. Towards wish fulfillment. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is is making a decision to follow their heart towards wish fulfillment and let go of a, a stagnant relationship that is no longer happy there's no more love it's just like it's false it's, it is i can't pretend that it's not i'm moving forward because there's a better opportunity for love this is a new offer a new opportunity for love the page of cups This is like Cupid bringing you an opportunity for love. I'm moving towards new love. Somebody is moving towards new love away from an unrequited love situation where there's no togetherness, there's no teamwork. This guy may be moving towards the Queen of Pentacles who does have something solid to offer. options, choices, somebody is making a complex decision, they've been making a complex decision, I think the decision has been made though, because we have this transition move on, somebody is moving away from their indecisiveness, somebody is, they're moving away from it, there's no more growth there. They don't have any willpower or desire to give energy to it. There's no energy left. There's no, there's no, there's nothing left there. And there's a better opportunity for wish fulfillment and this guy sees it. So we have a, I think it's a masculine. When I see the emperor, I think it's a masculine. You go ahead and say whatever you want. I think we have a masculine, a male here that is giving up on a loveless situation because they see an opportunity for wish fulfillment and relation and a new relationship because this is wish fulfillment and a new relationship and this is letting go of the guilt letting go of the fear 
letting go of the anxiety. I'm letting it all go. I'm, I'm moving to a better, peaceful, safe place. This is letting go of the guilt. Somebody is choosing to let go of the guilt, to let go of their fears, to face their fears. And follow their heart towards wish fulfillment. So we have somebody here that's making a decision. This guy has been watching, he's been looking, it's you know, he's been looking and he probably sees there's an opportunity for happiness after he makes a decision to get out of a unjust, unfair situation that has kept him stuck. So yeah, I feel like there's there's forward movement. Somebody is moving forward, headed to a better place where there is love and happiness. After being stuck in an unrequited love situation, I think that's over. I think this person has made an offer. There was indecision, but now the decision has been made. So that's what I see. That is what I see. It's time to be happy. It's time to celebrate. It is. It's time to celebrate. You could get asked out. You could get asked out on a date or whatever. To socialize, to get together. That kind of thing. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Absolutely it does. New love, I told you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That's what we got here. That is exactly what we got here. Somebody's got a new love and they're leaving the old one behind. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. That's what we got going on here. Somebody's headed right towards wish fulfillment. After finding the strength to let go of the unrequited love situation. They may be, you may be, rece be receiving a message. I mean, this is like a, I love you. This is Cupid bringing you together with somebody. I, I, you know? This could be an apology. Could be, this is an offer of love. There could have been a lack of confidence, you know, that hindered it, whatever. I don't know. But I do feel like a, a, a message is coming, a loving message. Probably from a new person, like the card says. So yeah, that's what I got. Good luck.